Hey everybody, Coach D'Angelo here. Wow, what an exciting time of year as we welcome in 2017. Happy New Year to you. Did you join the New Year's Eve resolutions bandwagon when that particular ball dropped? Well, you're all in good company because approximately 45% of North Americans make at least one resolution in January. But you might be the only one of your friends keeping that particular resolution. Whether it's a lack of willpower or unrealistic goals that are to blame, most people have difficulty sticking to their New Year's resolutions. As I mentioned a couple of Mondays ago, just about only 8% of people who make them will still be committed to them by the end of the year, especially if you find yourself really busy and crunched for time most of the days. How well you manage your time apparently has a significant influence over whether you're able to maintain your resolutions during the year. Now, for many people, the very first month after making a resolution is the hardest. But if you can get through it, you significantly up the odds of it becoming a permanent change in your life. Now, speaking of change, are you ready to explode your 2017? My goodness, I'm incredibly excited for all the agents who will be taking the time to attend our weekly Explode training sessions for the next six weeks, starting on Tuesday, January the 10th at 10 a.m. Every agent in the room will explode their personal branding, experiences, and lead generating opportunities starting on Tuesday, January the 10th. Now, developing a stable book of business starts with developing your personal brand. And remember this, it's like training for a marathon. The actual event may seem impossible for you up front. However, when you take some time to take small systematic training events and put them together, the event is very achievable. That's what our annual Explode training event in the new year does for the agents to take that extra step. Here's a suggestion for your week ahead of Explode if you're planning on attending. Set aside some time this week to go back and review those goals or resolutions. Are they attainable? Are you willing to set aside the time needed to achieve those goals? I'd like to close with a quote from Neil Gaiman. It's one of my favorite quotes for the beginning of the year. I hope that in this year to come, you make mistakes because if you are making mistakes, then you're making new things, trying new things, learning, living, pushing yourself, changing yourself, changing your world. You're doing things you've never done before and more importantly, you're doing something. I wish you all a happy new year. Cheers.